The concept of victimhood encompasses a layered and intricate mix of elements deeply entwined with psychological patterns, societal norms, and cultural backgrounds. From a psychological perspective, understanding victimhood requires delving into individual emotional responses, historical influences, and the broader societal context that shapes these experiences and self-perceptions. Since the human experience is complex, there are several reasons why people become victims. Let's examine some of the most common. Learned helplessness. This is a condition in which a person has come to believe that they are unable to control or change the situation, so they resign themselves to their fate. This often develops after a person has experienced a traumatic event or repeated failures. Past traumas and conditioning. Individuals enduring trauma, particularly in formative childhood years, can often develop a deep-seated sense of being perpetual victims. This internalized identity frequently stems from conditioning or ongoing adverse experiences that critically mold their self-perception and worldview. These experiences can skew their interactions and expectations, influencing their reality societal and cultural influences. Cultural narratives and ingrained social structures significantly contribute to the phenomenon of victimhood. For instance, specific demographic groups may find themselves marginalized or subjected to pervasive stereotypes, fostering an environment where individuals within these communities feel inherently powerless or oppressed. This dynamic can deeply affect their identity and interactions within the broader societal context. Cognitive biases and distortions. Individuals may harbor cognitive biases that skew their interpretation of events, perpetuating a self-identity rooted in victimhood. For example, a negativity bias could lead them to focus disproportionately on adverse outcomes, while a self-serving bias might make them attribute failures externally, reinforcing a continuous cycle of perceived victimization and personal disillusionment. Reinforcement At times, the role of a victim may be unintentionally encouraged by one's surroundings or personal relationships. This can occur when individuals receive extra attention, sympathy, or support solely when they exhibit victim-like behaviors or recount their misfortunes benefits they might not experience under normal circumstances. This unintended reinforcement can perpetuate the victim mentality. Now let us examine six ways that we can stop becoming victims. 1. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy this therapeutic strategy is designed to aid individuals in identifying and transforming detrimental thought processes and actions. By effectively confronting and rectifying cognitive distortions, such as irrational beliefs and biases, individuals can foster a more empowered and accurate self-conception. Along with a realistic understanding of their surroundings, leading to healthier coping mechanisms and life choices. 2. Assertiveness Training Mastering the art of assertive communication, as opposed to adopting passive or aggressive styles, equips individuals with the tools necessary to stand up for their rights and needs effectively. This skill aids in advocating for oneself in a respectful and confident manner, which is crucial for establishing and maintaining healthier personal and professional boundaries. 3. Building Resilience Building resilience is a multifaceted process that encompasses the development of robust coping mechanisms and the enhancement of emotional regulation capabilities. It also involves cultivating a growth mindset, which enables individuals to perceive challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. As a result, resilience empowers individuals to recover from setbacks and face new obstacles with confidence and a proactive attitude. 4. Seeking Support Seeking professional counseling, participating in support groups, or leaning on trusted friends and family can offer crucial guidance, validation, and motivation during challenging times. Being enveloped in a supportive community plays a vital role in nurturing an individual's belief in their capabilities and fostering a sense of empowerment. This network of support can be instrumental in facilitating personal growth and resilience, providing a solid foundation for overcoming life's hurdles. Five. Education and Awareness Gaining an in-depth understanding of the dynamics of victimhood, coupled with self-awareness regarding one's own behavioral patterns, can significantly empower individuals to initiate meaningful changes in their lives. Additionally, educating oneself about the characteristics of healthy, constructive relationships can provide the tools needed to cultivate more positive and supportive interactions. This newfound knowledge and self-insight can be transformative, paving the way for a more autonomous and fulfilled existence. 6. Personal Responsibility Acknowledging personal power and responsibility does not equate to self-blame for being in a victim situation. 
but rather highlights the capacity to influence one's own life and surroundings. It involves a conscious recognition of one's ability to respond proactively to challenges and to affect change in adverse circumstances. By embracing this perspective, individuals can shift from a passive state to an active role in shaping their destiny and improving their situation. In summary, it is essential to acknowledge that transitioning away from a state of victimhood is a difficult process that demands understanding, patience, and frequently the intervention of professional support. This journey is marked by the gradual shift from feeling utterly powerless to discovering and embracing one's inherent strength and capacity for self-determination. The ultimate aim of this transformative path is to reach a place where individuals can confidently exercise their agency and influence over their lives, emerging empowered and self-reliant.